Good evening, MCR. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm super excited, like heart beating out of my chest, because today I have this incredible artist here. Um, from touring with artists like Latin Grammy Award winner Joaquina, opening tours for the Marias, Faye Webster as Maya's guitarist, performing with Maya as well in NPR Music's Tiny Desk Concert. She's gonna do something tonight that no one would really expect. For the first time ever, this artist will be performing her originals tonight for us. It is a huge honor for me to present her. Please help me welcome the incredible, I'm like, I'm super excited, but please help me welcome the incredible singer-songwriter producer, musical director, touring musician, the list goes on and on and on. It's the one, it's the only, Ori. I love you so much. Thank you, Yen. That was quite the introduction. I love you very much. All right, well, this is crazy. I've never done this before. I've been on Sta many stages before, but never on the front of it. It's a very different feeling. Um, I'm gonna be singing some songs tonight. They're very personal, very vulnerable. Some are fun, some are not so fun. Um, these are all from real experiences that I've had. And the first one, I think, is... Um, it's quite fitting, it's called The Pilot. And I wrote it, I, I kind of put the set list in chronological order. Um, from when I first wrote them to, to the most recent songs I've written. And this is a song I wrote when I was about 19 years old. It's a very, very old song. But it's a song that talks about my relationship with God. And it means a lot to me. It stood the test of time. I'm 27 years old now. So, but every time I sing it, um, I mean it and I feel it. And yeah, we're going to get in our feels a little bit. <clears throat> have some water as I should. Okay. All right, this one's called The Pilot. What I see through these eyes My soul is a canvas that's full of your art And I don't know if this route I'm on is steady I'll take the wrong exit Oh, I'd rather toss a kiss Over to you So you could Fly me around Let's dance in the sky Sail through your eyes Where rivers are coming
Thank you. All right. Shall we go for song two, I guess? All right. <laughs> um, this one's a little bit more of a, it's a very fun song. I wrote this about <clears throat> falling for my friend as I do all the time. I was living in Boston and I fell for him, but we were very tight friends. So it's like awkward, right? Like you're my friend, why am I feeling things for you? And he would talk to me about this girl that he liked and me too, but then it's like, he would be sitting in my lap type shit or I'd be sitting in, in, in his lap and we were so affectionate with each other that there was clearly some sort of tension and I, would, I just wasn't buying it. I was like, we like each other. So it's a, it's a song about feeling like you're the person that's on their mind at the end of the day. And it's called mine. Thank you, thank you. This is a great crowd. This is my, my favorite crowd. <laughs> All right. habit of being a guitarist and I now feel like my guitar is too loud so I'm gonna lower it. All right, I guess next song? You tell me, I don't know if we're, we're gonna stagger some questions in between or not, yes, no. All right, come, come hither, please, I've, it's lonely out here. I'm so used to being with other people on stage. And favorite question to ask everyone. You know what? We'll save that for last, because best for last. Uh. But, 
pilot. I mean, wow. I really, I don't think I've heard of that one before, actually. Aww. Yeah. It is. Um, tell me a little bit about your process. What's the first thing? Is it the same always? The first thing that pops up into your head when you're thinking about writing a song? What comes first? Is it the lyrics or just the inspiration, the idea? Or is it maybe the chords first? Like, what, What's the first thing that pops up into your mind? At least with that one, if you remember. I would love to know. That one has a very special story because that melody, do 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 I was literally just sitting in the couch and I heard that. And I didn't know what that was. I just kept hearing it. I didn't know if it was a song. I couldn't find it. Um, there's not a lot of songs I've written that came this way, but that one did. And that's why I feel like it was kind of God sent because I just kind of heard that. And then I just, you know, like, I just kind of figured out the chords on top of that. So I was like, okay, like, do, 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 right? And then I didn't have lyrics. I didn't have lyrics for years. I just had that melody and the chords. And then I sort of, I wrote the chorus first for that one because it had the melody that I had heard, right? Drive, uh, fly me around, let's dance in the sky. Sail through your eyes where rivers are kind. And then once I had, the chorus for that one, I had to figure out the verses, and the verses also didn't come easy. Like that, I wrote the chorus, and then like months later, I figured out the verses. And to this day, I was never fully sure if I liked those, but then I was like, that's kind of the song at this point. You know, it's all I've ever sung. I, I can't reimagine it to, I can't edit it to something else. So I'm just gonna commit, because that's what came to me at the moment, and I, haven't figured out how to edit it, so I feel like that's just, that, that was the song. Banger, well, beautiful, beautiful banger. And you said uh, the second song, it's when you were living in Boston, right? So tell me a little bit about, you went to college there, what was that experience like? What was it like uh, going to Berkeley? What did those years look like for you? It was a whole new world. <laughs> it was truly, truly. Um, well, think about it, right? So I moved from Venezuela when I'm six. I live in Miami my entire life. And then all of a sudden, when I'm 19, I go to, I go to real America. I had never even left Miami, only to go to like Orlando. And that still doesn't count. So I went to real America. And it was literally a whole new world. Like I, and it was funny. I remember literally just talking to people and I'd be like, hi, my name is Ori. And immediately they'd be like, oh, where are you from? And I was like, wait, I have an accent? Like, <laughs> what? And yeah, but it was beautiful. I met the snow for the first time in my life in 2016. I had never felt or seen the snow. Um, made real American friends for the first time. I, I was roommates with four guys from India um, there were just so many cultures at Berkeley and just going to class, going to like, walking into a world class studio at 11 in the morning because that's like your critical listening class was just like kind of out of this world. I still look back and it feels like, like a fever dream. It was really, it, I always tell people this, but it's kind of like Hogwarts. It's like what you would imagine Hogwarts to be like because everybody's just so talented and there's like a bunch of wizards and it's this really magical place and we all just like hang out there, you know? So yeah, I feel very lucky and privileged to have had that experience. Definitely changed my life. So, real America changed her life. Miami is not real. And yeah, please take it away with song number three. All right. So, since we're going in chronological order, at this point, I had already uh, fallen in love for the first time with somebody I met at Berkeley. And I wrote this song about, um, they went on tour for a bit and we were apart and the relationship sort of started falling apart a little bit. And so, um, it's called Hazy. It's about pretty much, um, it's about feeling, feeling weird about where you are in the relationship.
We've been apart for too long, but I still remember every sliver of you. I'm wishful, but I'm not blinded. Our plants haven't got in water, and they're dying very soon. Time is slowly racing Our thumbs are getting lazy So when your land just texts me Everything's hazy Everything's hazy now I wanna feel like October Feels like we weren't sober. I was drinking you. The chances of us are lower, but I know it isn't over. We're not giving up this time. Our time is slowly racing. me everything's hazy everything's hazy now stay with me oh baby stay with me oh baby stay with me oh baby everything's hazy Everything's hazy now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, okay. So we're on the subject of that person. <laughs> this next song, <clears throat> wow. Deep story here. Um, it's called Maddened, okay? And it's a song about falling in love uh, with a girl for the first time, which was a very tormentuous moment in my life because up until that point, you know, you're told it's wrong. I come from a very Christian family. I am Christian. I do believe in, in, in his teachings and in, in his ways. And I, you know, want, being a person that always wanted to follow that, I fell in love with this girl uncontrollably. I couldn't really control it. And it was so confusing. And this song is sort of like a plead to God, kind of being like, why? Why is this so wrong? Why is this so problematic? I love her. I, I truly do. And um, without much further ado, I'm going to sing this song called Maddened. Held myself back so long Thinking that I was wrong Cause based on what I've been told I've maddened My lips are one with your soul A true love I'd never known But based on what I've been told I've maddened and I'm doing something wrong Just tell me it's okay I wonder if I'll ever understand Just tell me that'll change I wonder if I'll ever see the day Close, 
holding all we can hold We mold together as one No matter what's to come You'll always be my first love Oh, keeping my heart with yours I'm frightened that I'll always want you close Just tell me that'll change I wonder if I'll ever understand Just tell me that'll change I wonder if I'll ever see the day. Forgive me, please. Oh, I've met and then I wanna stay that way. Forgive me, please. Oh, I've met and then I wanna stay. Wow, wow, wow. This is such a special moment um, just to be here with you. Thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for sharing this. Um, you know, I've fallen asleep to your voice and you playing guitar so many times because it's the most, to me, one of the most soothing things in the world. So thank you for sharing that. I think, you know, not a lot of people are bold enough to speak about things like that. I think it's those type of struggles that some people would rather just hide away or, I think that a lot of people, I know I can relate to that story and I think it's important, it's special that you were very bold to make a song like that because a lot of people out there I'm sure can relate, um, but yeah. It's, I'm really touched, like, this is really beautiful. And, um, yeah, what do you have next for us, please? Right. I'm dying to know. <laughs> um, cool, so thank you so much, Jen. I love you. Um, to keep the vulnerability going, <laughs> um, at this point in my life, I had moved to New York. And, um, I moved to New York in December of 2019. Pandemic hits March of 2020. So New York was very much transient. And I sort of, when I graduated from Boston, I wasn't happy there anymore. My relationship was sort of falling apart. And so I, in an effort to be closer to this person, you know, um, they're from New York. So I moved to New York and also, you know, great city for music, I thought. Win-win, okay, I'm gonna move to New York. I find a great place, I was paying like 650 a month. And then I, was, I found myself being completely miserable. I was working at a guitar center, which isn't the worst job to have, but just waking up in the blistering cold, just like was not happy at all. And one day I got a glimpse of this really pretty, this is the prettiest, saddest song you'll ever hear. The, the music is some of the prettiest I've ever written, but the words are just so sad. It's a song about being in smack in the middle of one of the worst depressions I've ever been in my life. And again, a plea to God to be like, it's called serotonin, and it's pretty much me telling God, God, please fill the serotonin, like, please, you know. So this one is called Serotonin. And it's a very, musically, it's a very simple song. It's a, just kind of a loop. I always thought that this song should be sort of like a hip hoppy thing where it just kind of loops, and it's almost rappy. It has three verses and one chorus at the end. It's also not a orthodox kind of song. It's not like a verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It's, it's got three verses, and then finally the chorus only happens one time, and it's in the end. For some reason, I don't know, again, I'm not much of an editor. Whatever I feel at the moment, I just kind of wrote it like that, and I knew it was a weird song, but I was like, that's the song. <laughs> so, here it is. I wake up when 
the sun is down I'm down to Oh, maybe shower Let the water Water me Wash my sins And drown them in the rain The rain hey. I don't know Why I'm so hungry I'm saturated With nothing that I crave Fill my lungs Cause I am starving I wanna know Where I can go for I see light, but feel no warmth. My windows face the walls, and I'm not moving from this floor. Patiently, I'll walk that tunnel. Take me where feel the serotonin. Yeah. Feel the serotonin. Thank you. All right. Oh, this is a very fun one. This is, okay, I already moved to Miami at this point. <laughs> and as you both know, for, the, for, for future reference, when I watch this and I'm 30, the two people that are here are my two best friends for over a decade, Vicky and Yannette. Vicky's here, and Yannette is right there, and her, her son, Otto, who has been in our lives forever. <clears throat> so I moved back to Miami. I had already broken up with this person, and I moved back to Miami in 2021. And when I moved to Miami and I broke up with this person, I went on the most horrendous breakup bender. I'm talking, I was going out almost every day. This is Sir Otto over here. He's my nephew. We're his dearest Diaz. <laughs> so I moved back to Miami and I'm being a, a wreck. You know, I'm being totally a wreck. I'm going out. It's a very, very, very happy time in my life. And I go out one night and I hook up with one of my best friends, as one does, because why wouldn't you, you hook up with your best friends? And uh, I wrote this song about pretty much um, thinking that I liked it a little more than I should have and um, it being weird. So it's called Don't Tempt Me With A Good Time. This song is a little gay. She stole a kiss from me tonight. She didn't even have to ask, cause she knows I would. for the night Don't tempt me with a good time Cause there's something we might find to be true Ooh. Don't tempt me with a good time Cause we might just 
Okay, okay, okay. I have a request for as is, but okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the songs that are left in the set list, and you guys are gonna pick one given the name, which whichever one sounds more comf uh, interesting to you. You you can in be included in this, please. Be the tiebreaker. Okay. There's as is. There's beautiful again. There's the ick. There's honey. And there's Consentido, which is my only song in Spanish. All right, you guys, go ahead. Okay, okay we got Consentido. We got two X. We got one Consentido. The ick? Oh, you want as is. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll go with the, uh, with the ick. Um, this is a fuck you bitch song. Oops, can we not curse in here? Well, too late. They're very short songs. Um, till what time do we have? Because, till right now? They're very short. I can, okay, okay, cool. I'll do as is and the ick. How about that? Cool, cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> I'll do as is first for Vicky. It's a very short song. Always been there 
song one more song this one is called the ick <clears throat> I wrote it very recently I had a crush on somebody and they got the ick Oop. so much in <laughs> I am not but, but I will some of you step up I'm scared of your mic so fancy it's fancy <laughs> so let's close it out to send you off to where you came from just kidding uh, I love to ask everyone what is your earliest music memory? Your very first 
earliest. Also, sick performance. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm so honored to have been the first one very first to hear all that. Amazing. You did incredible. Super proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, tell me your earliest music memory or favorite or both. So one of the earliest and some of my favorite music memories is with my uncle. Um, he had a friend called, we called him El Parce, this Colombian guy, and he was an amazing guitarist and singer, and my uncle would invite him and all his friends over, and they would sit in a circle, and they would just jam out, and this was 2006, 2007 at the time, so they'd jam out to like Shakira, to, um, to uh, La Flaca, like hit songs, you know, that our parents listened to. And it would be live, you know, like they would all sing out and he was, I remember him just playing guitar so well and everybody just playing to the, singing to the music that he was making and I thought, wow, that's so cool. And that actually inspired me to pick up a guitar and my uncle taught me my first chords and those are, I don't come from a musical family per se, but they all really, really love music and my uncle plays guitar um, and it, I really owe it to him for my, uh, earliest interest in music, so that's a fave, that's a fave. Wow, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Where have I been? <laughs> wow. And to close out, we're gonna do a fun little, quick little game. I love that, yes. Just, you know. I love games. Quick, painless. I'm gonna ask you a couple of this or that. Ooh. Just to get to know you a little bit, get the feel as if we already don't know your deepest, darkest secrets, but <laughs> anyway. So, road trip or plane trip? R road trip. Acoustic guitar or electric? <gasps> Acoustic. Right answer, just kidding. <laughs> Summer in Miami or in New York? Uh, New York. Miami's not a real place. There's only so, summer in Miami. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Lifetime, what? Winter in Miami is fun. Winter in Miami, yeah, yeah. everyone loves coming here. Uh, lifetime supply ah. of free Kindle books or lifetime supply of guitar strings? I have to go with guitar strings. Lagniap or The Corner? Ooh, these are, you met. Uh, fuck, The Corner. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would much rather, if somebody tells me, hey, we're going to the corner, and if somebody tells me, hey, we're going to Lock Nap, I will say yes to the corner any day. You heard it here first, guys. Yeah. You want her out and invite about? Her. Invite, her to the corner. invite her to the corner, guys. She's out. <laughs> and last one, Pepitos or Mary's Coin Laundry? Come on, bro. <laughs> Pepitos. All I knew this one, but I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I love you so much. I Thank you, you for coming. It's so fun.